today I have a 2013 Subaru Outback and today I'll be going over the features on the interior as well as the exterior and going over some of the competitors of the Outback as well as trims and pricing of the Outback so let's go ahead and check it out you have remote keyless entry It's a twilight blue metallic exterior with a black leather interior, power driver seat with power recline and power lumbar. You have a key illuminator at night. Nice. Leather wrapped steering wheel. Continuously variable transmission with manual shiftability. You have paddle shifters as well. You have a backup camera with guidance lines. Go ahead and turn the lights. You have fog lights and the hazards. Automatic driver's side window. Let's go ahead and pop the hood, check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors. You have halogen projector beam headlamps with halogen daytime running lamps and your halogen fog lamps. Has a pretty muscular front end. Under the hood is a 2.5 liter horizontally opposed four-cylinder engine. The Subaru Outback's main competitors are the Honda Accord Cross Tour and the Toyota Venza, two main competitors. I say the Outback provides the best all-wheel drive system out of all of them. You have a roof rack. Coming to the rear end of the Outback, you have a rear window wiper with a rear window defroster and an LED third brake light. And it is a partial zero emission vehicle. Your integrated backup camera. The Outback definitely looks uh, pretty rugged. EPA estimates are 24 city, 30 highway. Total vehicle price is $33,793. Power windows, power door locks. Your power mirrors are located up right here. Chrome door handles as well. You have this nice uh, wood graining. However, it is fake. Nice stitching right here, very padded, nice and padded. And let's go ahead and rev up the Outback. You have 
Bluetooth steering wheel mounted audio controls, cruise control. You have a manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Material quality in the Outback, soft touch material right here, but hard plastic right here. Heated seats for the driver and passenger, two staged. You have cup holders, center console, 12 volt power outlet down there, auxiliary input and a USB port. Nice and padded and stitched, very padded armrest. You have another power outlet down here, dual zone climate control, your temperatures, fan speeds. You have a Harman Kardon premium audio sound system, AM, FM, CD player. You have a navigation system as well. The navigation system, I definitely prefer Honda's navigation or uh, Toyota's. Um, it is, nothing's really wrong with the navigation system. It's just, um, doesn't really have enough, it's not really that clear and easy to read. It's just all right. It's just a regular navigation system. You have HD radio as well. Satellite radio. You have an auto dimming rear view mirror with garage home link. Sunglass container. Your sunroof. You have a shade as well. The seats in the Outback are actually really, really comfortable. They're very couch-like. And as far as driving dynamics go in the Outback, it's actually very car-like, just like the Honda Accord Cross Tour. But the seats are just very comfortable. I'm about 5'11". I have enough room. I like these gauges too. These gauges are pretty nice. Are you ready to win fifty thousand dollars and pay off all your bills? Silver uh, painted plastic too. It's a very functional interior. And also pretty luxurious as well. Really like this interior. And let's go ahead and shut down the app outback. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the car. This is where the outback really, really shines, is in its uh, cargo capacity and its um, interior room. And these rear seats do fold to maximize cargo room. You have a speaker back here too. You do have a cargo cover right now, it's not up, and you do have a cargo net. All right, a power tailgate, um, you can't get one. Material quality does fall through in the rear, very nice. Nice stitching right here, very padded. The wood grain does fall through in the rear too. And like I said, this is where the Outback really shines in its rear seat leg room. Very competitive against the Honda Accord Cross Tour. Uh, you have a single map pocket back here, uh, cup holders, center armrest, very large uh, center armrest, and rear air vents. And I will show you how to fold down those seats in uh, just a second. I like how um, in the Accord Cross Tour, you can um, pull those little levers in the back and then the seats fold right flat. So that's a very nice nifty feature that the Accord Cross Tour has. All right. Let's go ahead and fold those seats down. Just pull this right here. 
and they come right down 60 40 split you have a power passenger seat with power recline glove box compartment nice storage right here too and All thank right. you for checking out this review on the 2013 Subaru Outback. If you have any questions on this 2013 Outback, please let me know. Remember, this is Cameron's Car Reviews, car buying made easy.